Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at something very interesting on AutoCAD. We are going to show you how to delete the content of a particular layer and also how to delete the layer subsequently. You know, um, there was a time my my boss asked me to help him with something or like a design like this, but not this particular one. So we have um, so many layers, and I was asked to move the drawing to another work environment, but I need to go with just a few layers. So you can see we have different layers here, right? Good. There are so many layers. So depending on the kind of work you're doing you will be them um, have to maybe create different layers um we have a video on the channel where we showed you shown you how to create layer however in this particular video we can just um, look at um, this particular we can just look at this um, creation of a um, layer so let's say we have um, three shapes here right the rectangle the circle and then this should be an hexagon right so let's say we want to create a layer for maybe one or two or three of these in particular of these features here of these shapes, right? So yours might not just be this, it can be anything, maybe whatever you're working on that you want to create layer for. Good. So we can see now that by default we have our default layer, which is layer zero or something. So we want to create layer to now save each of these shapes in the layer. So you come towards your layer properties manager right good so now under this um, layer property manager you want to create a new layer control n let's remove this duplicate let's remove that good so now let's rename this let's call this circle right so let's call this circle good call the circle okay now you know by default when you click on any feature or any item on your work environment the layer with which it is saved is what you are going to see here so um as we have not moved any of these um, features to their separate layers they are all saved in the default layer right good so we want to move this circle into what the circle layer so the shortest way you can do that is that when you've created the layer which we've done just come to this drop down you select that particular layer then you you come back to the object you want to save in that layer you go back there and then you do what you just select that uh, layer which means you've actually moved everything you have for that particular um, shape or that particular object you have on your workspace you've saved it on that layer so what do i mean look at this this particular rectangle is still on default layer zero right but this circle is no longer on the default layer again it's now on layer circle so but this other hexagon is still on default layer um, zero right so we can still create another what we can still create another layer for the hexagon we come to let's call this um, hexagon right so let's call this um, hexagon good so we just um, apply and okay so we come down to hexagon we are on the hexagon layer then we do what we add okay we select this hexagon and we've actually done what we've actually added that particular shape what to that layer are we together good so that's how you do that's how you create layer and that's how you add objects to that layer however what we are going to look at is you already have um, you already have so many objects on the layer and you want to delete them you know you might not be able to do them one after the other and you might not be able to delete the layer what do we mean by that let's show you something here let's come to our layer manager good so under the layer manager let's look at a particular layer let's look at um, vegetation right good let's look at vegetation now um let's see we want to delete this layer of vegetation let's see 
this message would have the selected layer was not deleted because of the following reasons we cannot delete them however we want to show you how you can delete the contents of this layer automatically or all of the contents of this layer and also delete the layer subsequently are we together so let's see let's just um, toggle this off and on to see what we have here let's see what we have on screen okay i think there are some stuff good i think the vegetation is somewhere around there let's confirm that where is our vegetation let's put it on again and see. good so this is the vegetation right good so now what we want to do now is that we want to delete the contents of this vegetation layer and also delete the layer subsequently you know we try to delete the layer and then we add a message that we or it was not deleted right good so the first thing now is that we do what we select all the objects which is a control a the object on our workspace right click on your mouse and then you go to what quick select right which means you want to quickly select that particular layer that's what we want to do so what properties are we selecting we are selecting the layer property right that's the entity let's just call it that then the operator you know operator like okay is it plus minus equal to whatever the case is so we need the layer that is equal to equal to what that's what we want to find out now equal to what vegetation right good equal to vegetation so we now know that under layer we are looking at what vegetation right so we say what okay so it will now help us to select all the objects that are in the vegetation layer which you can actually see on the screen now it has been selected right good so we can just delete this at once now that's one other advantage of that because if we want to start deleting them one after the other we might not be able to you know do that as fast and efficiently as possible but using this other alternative we know that all the uh, objects in that layer or that are, that are stored in that layer can be deleted at once and it will enable us to do it, to delete that uh, layer also so we have been able to delete the content of that layer let's now see let's come back to our layer property manager good so we good you can now see now it's no longer having a sharp uh, what you call it status or something this should be status right it's no longer having good it's no longer having a sharp status the status is now fit which can indicate that yeah we can do what we can delete it so when we click on this um, delete layer you can see that has been marked for what for deleting at the first time before we go to this stage when we try to delete it we got a i see an error message that we cannot work we cannot delete it so by doing that we can just do what apply we we'll find out that it has been deleted now we say what okay so the layer that vegetation layer has been deleted off this our drawing the content has also been what the content of that layer has also been what been deleted or they have been deleted. So this is how you do it. This is how you create layer. There is a full video now to create layer on the channel. We are going to leave that link, the link to that video, on the description section of this particular video. So you can see the nice a more exhaustive or robust explanation of that. And we have also shown you how to delete the part in a given layer, maybe whatever layer you have as you've created them, maybe different places or whatever the case is, how to delete the contents of the layer and how to subsequently delete the what to delete layer. So let's see, let's just um, go through all of it. it's good. We have done what we've done earlier. So I feel we can still have that our vegetation layer somewhere good. We still have it now. Remember it was deleted the other time. We still have it because of what we undo or let's say we've undone what we've actually done so thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solution to this um, particular solving problem so these are some of the things we can do this actually layout so the layout design is quite huge we have them about um, 34 hectares so you can actually contact us maybe we can help you fix some of these your your special problem very easy let's say fast and um, you get your stuff as soon as possible so we are going to see you on our next video. Until then, keep staying safe and keep being good at what you're doing. Bye.